You can see on loads documentation, method swizzling is about changing implementations at runtime. You might also be aware things like Firebase use method swizzling, but I believe without an example, you can't really see what's going on. So that's what I'm going to present in this video. Let's take a look. So the idea is I might not want to use the standard localizable strings within my main bundle. I want to use a separate bundle of files. And this means that I could download, say, those files from the internet and put them within the file management system and then use those instead of the standard localizable strings. So in localizable, I've got my English translation here of welcome screen title, which is welcome localizable strings. And on my simulator, when I run, it comes up welcome localizable strings, which should be no surprise as I've got English set. So what I want to do is swizzle NS localized string. And what that will do is mean we don't have to use the standard localizable strings. So let's take a look. In the app delegate, I can run my localizer, my localizer dot swizzle main bundle. And this means I want to use the files within the main bundle. And if I look at the file for English, my localizable has welcome ENGB bundle. So I know I'm using the one from the bundle. And if I run the project now, then I'm expecting it to see welcome ENGB bundle. And that's a relief it does. So what's happening is my localizer, this file, is doing something special. It's swizzling and enabling us at runtime to switch how NS localizable string works. This is amazing because it means, well, for this example, it means that we can download files from the internet and use them as our localizable strings. It means that we can choose that at runtime. And in this example, if you de delve deeper, the tests, I can use a different bundle during testing. Pretty useful. And I hope it makes it clear that swizzling is making the changes to the, I guess you'd say, normal functions at runtime. So we don't have to declare this when we're creating the app. Hey, so I feel like we're back to the beginning. Um, swizzling changes stuff at runtime rather than compile time. You don't often need to use it. People say it's dangerous. People say leave it to analytics and Firebase, but it could be something useful that you'd know how to do, at least for an interview, if nothing else. Anyway, bye and all that.